I got this package from Gemco today and it has a backup air pump. This is the same exact air pump that I have up there and I don't need to use it for another system or anything but I needed it as a backup because I started to realize that if anything happened to the pump that I have running right now I would be in a really bad situation because I don't have a backup. So this is my backup air pump. This is literally what keeps my entire fish room running. All of my filters are sponge filters powered by air. So if my air pump were to go out, that would be a worst case scenario type thing. So I decided to get a second one. This is the Linear Piston Air Compressor LPH45 from Gemco. I also got a couple of brine shrimp hatcheries. I actually made my own and I've been using the ones that I made myself for quite a while now but I wanted to kind of get a little bit more fancy schmancy you know so I decided I'd try these out from Gemco and see how they go I got two of those because when you have baby goldfish or probably almost any baby fish. They need to eat almost constantly throughout the day. So you have to make a batch of brine shrimp in the morning and a batch of brine shrimp at night. And then just keep on rotating them. And then I got some, oh my gosh, this is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I got some plumbing supplies. This is way bigger than I thought it would be, but let's see. Two inch threaded suction screen. Yep, it's the right thing. And then I got this guy. Oh my god. That thing's massive. That's like Jumbotron 2000. Anyway, that's a ball valve. Two inch ball valve. Where's the bulkhead? There's supposed to be a bulkhead in here, too, guys. And that's really the important part, so I hope it's in here. Bulkhead, where are you? Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I am such a dork. Okay, the bulkhead is attached to this. So they actually, oh, they actually did me a favor by showing me Okay, here's the two pieces, and this is how they go together. Oh my gosh, I'm such a massive dork. You can see how often I deal with these kind of plumbing supplies, right? All right, so what am I doing with this stuff, you might ask? Here's my 650 gallon poly tank. Yeah, you heard right. Okay, look at those. Those are 100 gallons each. Well, almost, not quite. 650 gallons of goodness. Let's get in it. This could be a swimming pool. Want to go for a swim, anyone? Whoa. <laughs> I'm dizzy. I've had this bad boy for like, oh my gosh, how long have I had this for? I don't know, maybe a month or two now? A month and a half, probably. And I also have this screen net for it because I plan on keeping it outside so I don't want any birds to swoop down and steal my precious fish. And lo and behold, there's no hole anywhere to drain it, so I have to drill my own hole. The cool thing that I noticed, and I don't know if they do this on purpose for any reason or what, but like there's kind of a flat a flat area right here and there's four of them around the outside of the tank there's four of them and so I have to drill a hole there I believe this thing requires a three inch hole so I have to get a hole saw drill a hole insert this bulkhead and the screen part is of course going to go on the inside so that when I open the ball valve to drain this bad boy, my fish don't get sucked in. I haven't been able to use this tank yet because I don't have the bulkhead installed and I don't want to use it until I have a good way to drain it quickly. So that's that. I need to get a proper vlogging camera. This is my big K2 
Canon DSLR and it's really heavy and I'm holding it in front of me right now and it hurts my arm. I actually tried to buy a Canon G7X which is like this little vlogging camera with a pop-up screen. It's really cute, really cool. I bought one from Amazon and it showed up broken so I had to return it and I haven't got my money back yet because it hasn't arrived to them yet so I can't buy a new one yet so I'm kind of stuck with this camera for now if I want to do like talking to the camera type videos while holding it. I should have just said vlogs. So yeah, that's what's going on in the fish room. It's cold today. It's been very chilly for Florida. So we've got this little space heater out here, which I don't know if it's even going to do much. It's the first time that we've tried it out here. Here's all my tanks. I only have a light on this one right now because I only have enough chain to hold that light up. I have one more light that I want to put somewhere else too, but uh, and then I still have to put them on a timer and all that. My Jeekins, my Watton eyes, my Keeper Babies. Look at how cute we are. Look at how cute we are. Yeah, I think they're all females. My sick fishy that's in quarantine being treated. He seems to be getting better. Oh, <laughs> this is the light that I use to record my videos. It's so not proper, but hey, it works. And my 75 gallon. Three days later. Hey guys, I hope everyone had a good Christmas. I myself actually had a couple of days sort of off where I didn't have to work or think about work for Solid Gold either. So it was kind of nice, kind of unusual. Because usually I work Monday through Friday at my day job and then I come home um, every evening and work from the time I get home to the time I go to bed, which is really way too late. Usually like 2 a.m. or so. I work on solid gold during that time and then on the weekend it is just jam-packed with working on solid gold. But it's Monday after Christmas now and I am right back at it. Today I'm going to drill the hole for the bulkhead in my 650 gallon poly tank. So here's all my supplies. I got my bulkhead, my ball valve, and my strainer basket, and my Grim. Hi Grim! Okay. He's got an itch on his tail. So that's what I'm going to do today. My desk work area is a little bit of a mess because I've been working like a dog non-stop, but it's great. It's all good. And this is my little um, <laughs> desk extension area because my desk was not big enough for my monitors and all the crap that I've been working on. So I just put up my little folding table as kind of my desk extension. And Grim loves it. Don't you, Grim? It's kind of his spot when he's not busy bothering me by walking back and forth right in front of me, which is actually what he prefers to do. So I'm going to go to the hardware store right now and pick up the parts that I need to attach this bad boy to this bad boy so I can really put everything together and get the tank filled up today. Hopefully I got all my supplies from Lowe's. Beautiful. Adapter. PVC glue hole saw. So here's the flat part in the tank that I'm going to put my bulkhead on. I lined up my bulkhead where I want it to go and marked a spot where I'm going to drill with my hole saw. And I ran out of battery. Typical. So then I have a spare battery. I tried plugging that one in and it's dead. Nothing. Also typical. Actually that's not very typical because I usually do charge my other battery when it runs out so that this doesn't happen. But this time it happened. So. One eternity later. <laughs>
gosh, I have a bulkhead on my 650 gallon tank and I didn't even screw it up. It's amazing. For now, this is what we've got. The bulkhead's installed. And when you look on the inside of the tank, we've also got the basket to protect those fishies from getting sucked up when I drain the tank. Right now I have the mesh cover on too. Mesh cover, super fancy. And I'm just waiting for the PVC glue on this guy to fully cure. And then this will get connected to the outside of the bulkhead. And then onto this, we'll get connected this ball valve, like so. And then this guy will be the drain pipe. I might add more length onto that later. And I really can't decide if I'm gonna move this outside and put fish in it yet, or if I'm just gonna get it ready now, and then when it warms up a little more in the spring, then move the fish out. I just can't decide because it's been unseasonably warm here in Florida. It's been like 80 degrees every day this week. It's nuts and insane. But it is supposed to get a little more chilly again. So I don't know if I wanna move my fish outside yet or not. I also have to save up a little bit of money before I can start my fish room revamp project. So I don't know if I wanna move them out yet or not. Probably not because I don't want them to get too cold and I also still need to save up some money before I can start refinishing the floors out here and adding windows and all of that good stuff. But at least now it'll be ready for when I am ready to move it outside. So that's progress. It feels good to be doing something productive in the fish room besides just general upkeep like water changes and such because it's been a long time since I really took on any projects like this. I'll keep you guys updated on the progress, of course, and don't forget that this Friday I'm doing a video showing you guys an update on my jeekins, which here they are. So stay tuned for that, and until next time, stay gold. Mm -hmm.